Hello everyone, this is Cross Stitch with Luda and in today's video I would like to show you my uh, Finnish project, my FO. This is uh, Hydrangea in Bloom by uh, Gold Collection Petite Dimensions kit and let me show you the preview. I've been stitching this design for maybe six months, maybe more. I can't remember, but uh, I started this kit in New York City, in Central Park, when I was with my child. It was so funny, I was stitching, and usually people don't pay any attention <laughs> what I'm doing, but uh, two young men came over and uh, they broke their coat or something, I don't know how that happened, and feathers was coming out of uh, their jacket <laughs> they were like please please can you help us to fix <laughs> and I did help them but um, yeah this kit uh, brings some memories uh, because I was teaching it um, everywhere I was going with my son it was my back project as I can say uh, I carry it everywhere with me if I have free time and don't want to waste it and especially in parks you can you can read I, I wish I can read uh, because I stitch a lot and uh, sometimes you just need a break from stitching but I can't read lots of noise and kids uh, I, I have to look after Daniel so while I'm stitching it's much easier so I'll show you closer this design I did uh, took a picture just now and I will post on my Instagram you can see close-up pictures there but what I did, I did change bits on this project I replaced uh, with a uh, Mill Hill Magnifica number 10091 and I don't know if you see very close it looks amazing but from far you don't see them that much maybe you don't need but let me know I'll show you the original beads was in a kit but I don't like them they looks like they're worn out or something wrong with them also I use uh, coaching over here and lots of backstitch as usual but uh, this kit was not as hard as as usual kits uh, by gold collection petites they're very detailed and uh, has lots of special not special stitches but lots of back stitch usually and uh, you have to change your thread quite often so it's another kit in my collection I collect I'm collecting um, gold petites I mean stitched kits because I want to frame them one day not in same frames but I want to make it pretty on my wall and I don't put this designs on a hanger because they are pretty small and they're all going to my folder there's a folder I brought it from Ukraine <laughs> I keep here all my small projects some of them I framed just now in April and uh, there was another hydrangea it's very similar to this design you, you can see in my Instagram it's framed and I have another hydrangea somehow by chance it's happened so all, all small kits I keep here you know you've seen it before <laughs> of course hummingbird she's my favorite I love her so much and butterfly and now I have another another finish here will go over here so I keep them in this folder I might frame it here, I don't know, because I want to use um, art glass. I don't know, I'll, I will think because uh, of the beads. If you will use regular glass, it will, it won't look good, as I want to. But let me show you, beads was in a kit, they were here. So I don't like their quality. As you can see, they're like worn out and 
maybe you could find here some better ones but I wish I had bigger bits on my picture but I'll see I, I might change them it's not a big deal they're like about 10 bits that's it so I replace them to smaller bits I like the color of my bits more but uh, I don't like size it's a bit small let me know what you like more I might will buy the replacement for these bits and I will redo that I have lots of leftovers and I, as usual this kind of kids they put lots of threads I never have any problems with that so this is going to my box with all leftovers from Dimensions kits and I was teaching on uh, these hoops by Nurge number two the wooden hoops I like them they keep my project tight if I like it or loose if I want to depends how I stitch but they're perfect for my travel project because I can carry them in my bag with uh, threads I mean it doesn't wait a lot and it's very comfortable I park my needles inside here let me show you the hole here you can see it keeps my needle I don't, I don't need any pin cushion or whatever I just park my needles over here and I stitch however I like so anyway minus one project I'm so happy and I'm so relieved because I really try to minimize my project this this time by New Year's if I will have one or two projects I'll be happy and I think I can do that easy of course I would like to be with one project but we shall see I also bought this thread by uh, while I this wonder invisible thread I used in my Mirabilias I don't know I've heard it's out of print but I'm not sure I have same thread right here and I was using it for all my Mirabilias there was like more than 20 maybe 22 I don't, I don't know exactly how much Mirabilia I stitched so far but uh, <laughs> this is how much I use it from one spool you can see it's maybe half maybe not even half it will be enough for another 20 Mirabilia easy but just in case I've got this one I don't know if it's correct information or no but I always wanted to have just in case I know some people struggle stitching bits with this thread but I'm used to that and have no problems now uh, to be honest I never have any problems there here is like 1500 yards and uh, thickness is 004 I like this thread to me it's <laughs> amazing because you don't see anything on your work so and let me show you my collection of scissors as I promised before for those who's not interested I'll say bye we'll see you next in my next video and um, <laughs> if you want to see my collection please you're welcome so I don't have it, it never was from the very beginning as a collection I just wanted to have them and I want to frame them and to have in my stitching room as a picture and a frame picture just with scissors I want to hang them like I don't know all in one row I wanted to have uh, some of Saju some of uh, whatever nice shape I, I knew they're all not used to not mean for daily work I mean you can use as I said before in my previous video from all Saju maybe two three pairs for work but again you will be always extra careful you will be stressed sometimes if they will fall and you know if your scissors will fall sometimes uh, the, the top of the scissors can damage and they won't be the same ever again that's why I use them extremely rare 
after I found my perfect scissors, I use an extreme rare because I don't want to take a chance. So the rest I keep in a special box. This is my box for all my scissors. It's heavy. Again, I, don't, I, I never wanted to have a collection. I just <laughs> up here I buy and buy, and I want to have more of Saju, but uh, wooden ones. I want to have they are out of print now and another scissors with the letter S they are completely uncomfortable to use and they are not as good as uh, the red or blue even the shape is look, does look completely the same and uh, I don't know I just don't like to use them they don't they not they don't do the same job every single pair of scissors I mark with their number and you can see it's number 35 this is number 17 the blue ones number again 17 I don't know why it's the same number maybe because they're the same shape just different color mm -hmm. this is number 36 and in white color you will have same I mean different designs uh, this one is with a cross another you will have with uh, letter s the same white ones but with letter s same for brown browns that you will have with a flower with letter s and i think two different kinds for for this color but in this color you will have with um, doves i have doves Not doves, swan, sorry. <laughs> I was thinking of doves. But um, there, there is another pair with a letter S. And they all work similar. All of this, they all work the same. Not good, not great. And I've heard one woman, she was teaching, and um, her scissors fell down, and that was broken and you can use them and you can repair them so you have to be extra careful with all these fancy scissors uh, just for for your own pleasure just for fun and this one is not bad this is um, hair but uh, by Saju and number 39 the scissors are not bad but they're a little bit small but comfortable I would say I would advise you to buy if you want to okay the rest of my scissors I don't know it's a mess a little bit here oh I have another scissors from Saju so all these scissors I just show you they are usually in this kind of box paper box they are like You will buy them, they will be like that. Another scissors I have in this type of box. It's more fine box and this is a carriage. This was my first scissors by Saju. I thought they're the prettiest. And uh, <laughs> they're just useless but I like them and I'm happy I have them it's number 12 but I like uh, the rings they're comfortable well you can use them they're, they're fine it's just I think they're too big and I don't know you might will use them one day but I don't think so have other scissors Okay, let's go one by one. These scissors I think I bought in Hobby Lobby and I was using them for a long time. As you see, the color is, is off. But I do like them and they're one of my favorite. I have a needle, oh not needle, scissor fob. 
and I like the rings it's comfortable to use and the edges of scissors they are great for work but sometimes you just want to use something else but once in a while I come back to the scissors for my mood depends on my mood <laughs> and I use them often next scissors from I think this is Krem Scott design and the shape is mermaid you see this is like a tail of mermaid they're they're okay but not for daily use not for they're not great because the way they work just have them just for fun so for pictures on instagram as we all laugh now <laughs> but uh, definitely not i just have them for my frame picture in the future this two pairs look similar and what makes me angry that i i think i never use them i mean maybe i try once how they work and i did not like how they work but i, I love their shape i just want to have them and they're completely useless they work in horribly sometimes you have to do a few moves to cut your thread but the they're pretty i love them similar with this pair so pretty but completely user useless and you see here color come off even i kept them in a special paper and then i decided not to cover it anyway the color is coming out so this is another scissors in my collection Sorry for the fly, she's here, like I tried to, <laughs> to kill her, <laughs> she's such annoying, <laughs> I don't know how she came here. Um, next pair of scissors, it's a black flower, so I don't know, shape of flower. Here also, I don't really like to work with the scissors, again, they're just a part of my collection now next one i did show you many times this is my scissors this is my they're my favorite and they're serrated by primax and i've heard you can buy just a regular one because uh, these scissors are more expensive i think they're double price of regular ones just for normal cotton thread or silk thread and you can buy the same shape you can buy the same shape and sorry <laughs> and um, yeah for less price and they're just great as this one next scissors by DMC and I don't know or I was unlucky but I've heard many people like these scissors they are great they are easy and uh, they're they're working well but mine i don't know what's happened with the end of the scissors they're just not working well maybe i will sharp them and i will see how they will work next scissors made um, by clem scott design and they're shape of acorn they're so pretty they're so tiny but <laughs> they're the most uncomfortable scissors because your fingers <laughs> like you see they're not uh, the rings are not round so this shape i mean you can't really use them every single day maybe for a travel project you will use them and they will cut your thread no problem but they're not for every day but I, I do love them I like their look okay next scissors I've got as a gift in Mirabilia retreat but believe me or no I use them often because uh, this scissors they're sharp and I like shape and sometimes when I 
need them for my travel project I do use them and it's they're protected by this cover and this pair of scissors as well they're not really comfortable to use but they're great uh, for your bag if you have travel project if you go visit your friend or you stitch together you don't have to worry something will break uh, or anything will happen to your scissors even if I lose them it's okay <laughs> and uh, they are protected and I think they're just great I love them another scissors I have uh, by Primax the shape of Eiffel Tower it's written they're made in Italy and I do love them the only thing I wish the end was better but I still like them and I would use them daily they're just as good as all other scissors but not better than this pair but I think for the price you get the best quality you can get next scissors I bought in San Antonio in a local store and uh, I found them beautiful I don't know what is shape of but they're just great the reason I don't use them every single day because I don't want the color will come off but I love them these scissors are just amazing and I love the shape I don't think they were expensive um, I don't think so I w otherwise I would notice that because I was buying other stuff but I do love them I can't tell you who they're made by but this is what I have next scissors shape of owl and they're the same <laughs> useless as you see the small working surface and also rings are not comfortable to use and to be honest I don't really like black scissors I always think they will make my fabric dirty next scissors was my favorite favorite uh, like <laughs> it was they were in my top scissors for a long time and uh, I love roses on the scissors and I found them so comfortable and I don't know I stopped using them because they was not working very well but I did sharp them they're by Clemscott designs and now they're working but I found my other scissors so I want to keep them keep them as they are I don't want to use them but to be honest they're not they cost about 12 or 10 dollars so if something will happen to them I always can buy another one but they're great for quality for the price they're amazing and I do love them so much I love the shape and I have smaller ones I thought they will be the same size the golden ones this is number two this is Elizabeth number two and this is Elizabeth number one if I'm not mistaken and they also have the small roses they're great they're beautiful for travel project but not for every single day you, you see their their rings are much smaller and uh, the surface is not big enough so I just have them in my collection but their boss are pretty another scissors I have the same but uh, different color just like I love them so much they're so pretty they're so cute I just can't use them every single day they're not comfortable but they're perfect for travel project again they're by Kim's good design as well mm -hmm. both of them and I think I have another one the gold yes so this is how much I like them till that point so I have three pairs I think they will be uh, they will uh, be pretty on my frame picture where I will put all my scissors so <laughs> I have them three 
next pair also by Clem Scott designs and I do have them in different colors they're classic I think they're classic especially this one in silver color but I don't like to use them every single day they're not comfortable but again they're pretty So this pair of scissors, uh, well, I think they were my first pair I bought, or second, something like that. I bought it from my friend, and I don't know. It, I I was so worried. Uh, to me, I, I I never used scissors while I was cross stitching, and a couple of years, I decided to try to use scissors. I was using something else. Unfortunately, I don't have it here, and I don't know the name of this. Um, there are like, uh, ah, sorry for my English, <laughs> but I wish to show you one day to explain you what I was using to cut my scissors. Special, let's say special scissors, but they're not really scissors anyway. And uh, I think this was made in China, and this is Chinese scissors, and they're great. I would say I'll use them every single day. I don't know why I'm not using it any anymore. I think because of the shape, it's a little bit too big. Like this shape is great. They're a bit heavier and thicker, but you can use them. They're still good. Next um, scissors I have. I love this shape right here. And I do have them in different colors as well because I like them both and they're comfortable to use but again it's a little bit too big for me to use them but they're still good they're still great again I like this shape looks like in Catholic Church another scissors I bought they were like one of my first scissors. I bought them together with this pair. You see they're similar. Both of them from China. And they are nice. They are great. Both of them. I'm happy with the quality. They're just too big. Little bit too big. But I can use them. No problem. Okay, next scissors. The shape of all. Again, they're not comfortable. <laughs> but they're pretty. So, I have this scissor flop or scissor minder <laughs> and that just make my mood sometimes some days okay another scissors uh, by ginger or I don't know another name uh, we call them ginger <laughs> and they're one of my favorite because of the shape because of the quality I like how fine they've done and I just love them and I like the top I bought them in uh, Michael's in New Jersey in Hobby Lobby because I wanted to visit that Hobby Lobby it was so far from my house we drove once it was really far <laughs> but I wanted to have something from the store for memory and I did get the scissors I'm still happy the scissors I bought from Russia one woman was selling them on Instagram and I bought them and they are pretty good I mean you can use them daily but again they are a little bit too big but they are really pretty they are not expensive at all I bought them like for six dollars or something like that next pair of scissors I was given by one cross stitch store and I don't really like them. I like I like the design, but I don't like the the, the end of the scissor. It doesn't cut my thread nicely. Next pair of scissors. Uh, I wish they were bigger. Again, they're not comfortable to use, but I like the shape. It's beautiful. 
Okay, this is one of the most uncomfortable scissors in my whole collection. <laughs> First of all, because of the rings, they're not comfortable enough. And also the way how they cut thread. It's just horrible. Seriously, I think <laughs> I think knife will cut my uh, thread better. And they also buy Kremskot designs. But they're so Halloween-y, they're so pretty for picture. And to be honest, not just for picture, for my uh, wall in the future. I see them on the wall. Another scissors, also Halloween-y. <laughs> And again, I don't like black scissors. I don't like um, rings. It's not comfortable to use. They're too tight. It's really hard to open them. So they're just for collection. The scissors are better and they're not as tight. But again, the black color, especially in the beginning, they make, you see, even my fingers become dirty. Like, look. Imagine you use them for hand dyed fabric or you cut them, you cut white thread, look, you see? And all black scissors, believe me or not, they are similar. So I just not use them, I don't, I don't use them, I, I think maybe it's in the very beginning, you have to wipe them off and they will be fine, but I don't know. They are great <laughs> for pictures only. Another scissors. Oh my God! You see how how the color came off? It's because I was using them. The, I was using them so often, and they are one of my favorite scissors. I love the rings. I like the quality. How they cut my thread, and all of this. I I bought them in a local needle store. To be honest, I thought it, uh, they were Elizabeth because I want to buy them for a while. I thought I thought I was buying this pair of scissors just in a gold color, <laughs> but then I came home and opened the internet and I and I check and I understood I bought different scissors, but they're just great. As you can see, I was using them and I, I think I will be using them again and again and again. They're just great. I take some of my scissors to Ukraine and they sharp them and it cost me nothing and they're working perfectly after that. So if something happened to my scissors, I just take another pair and I use it and then I sharp them. These scissors also by Clemscott Designs and they're pretty. They're, I like their rings, but I don't like this or flower or cross, it um, always um, not they're not comfortable for your finger when, while you cut, but they're fine. I wouldn't say they are horrible, but I would not say they are great. They're just okay scissors. Next pair of scissors, there. It's, I think it's a Peacock by DMC, and they're great. I love them. They're light, they're working well, and I love the rings. They're just working well for me. Next pair, by Scott design as well, and they're not bad, but they're not great. I like the shape again, and I know they're, they're, they're bigger scissors. I also want to get them, but I don't know when. I have always something to buy. <laughs> oh, this is also one of my favorite scissors. They are this one by DMC, and one of one of my favorite scissors, how they look, how to use. I just like them. Okay, I have a few more. I hope you're not that tired. So both of these scissors, they're so tiny, they're so petite and they're both not comfortable for daily use. Again, they're great for travel project, but that's it. And uh, this shape of scissors, I think they have, not I think, I'm sure they have in um, Saju and call monster scissors. I mean, I like rings, they're cool. Maybe you could use them every single day. I don't know if you will get used to them. But to me, they're a little bit too small. 
Okay, another scissors, bigger shape of Eiffel Tower and in a golden color. Again, they're too big and I don't like the quality. I can, as you can see, they're, I don't think they're mean for cross stitch. Maybe for another embroidery you can use them, but they're still good. They're still good. And, okay, last pair of scissors. <laughs> Hope you're not that tired uh, there. I can't see, maybe it is Glimpse Code design, but I know you can find them in gold as well. They're comfortable, but not my favorite. They're not bad. Okay, that's it for today with scissors. I do have another collection of... Um, oh, I forgot English word for this thing. <laughs> I am sorry, <laughs> I was not ready for today's video, but I have a whole box of... In Russian they call it first, like I'm sorry, <laughs> I forgot these words. <laughs> and uh, this is a whole collection of uh, flowers, birds and all, all that stuff. I did present some of them, but again, I see them on a shell somewhere in my craft room but for now they're just in a box I hope one day I will have my craft room and I will put them nicely with my scissors and with my pictures and this is my cross stitch dream <laughs> thank you very much for watching me I hope you like my video thank you for all your likes and subscribing me I'll see you very soon bye bye